So with a bit of a delay, because I deleted the footage, here is the shoes I've been training with, and then the shoes that I'm gonna run the New York City Marathon with. First shoes I'm gonna talk about are these, and these are the Asics Nova Blast 2. I got these off of Running Warehouse. They were, I wanna say 60, 70 bucks, somewhere in there, because they were not the current model, and I don't know, probably not everybody's cup of tea in terms of color, but they've been really fantastic. I've really enjoyed running in them. They are felt bouncy, you know, they've got, at this point, have 350 miles in them, and so they're not quite as bouncy. One thing I did notice I, is, so I, I tend to hit more heel on my left foot, and when it gets wet, is they'll create like a, a vacuum here, and you can like feel that, um, which is kind of interesting, and not, doesn't hurt me or bother me or, at all, but it's something that I've, I've noticed. But I, overall, I've really enjoyed these. They still got a little bit of life in them, but they're, they're pretty, feeling, uh, are looking pretty worn out, uh, but in a good way. Used, I'm happy with them. Next pair uh, that is my other like kind of uh, daily trainer is the Saucony Triumph 20 in these cool tan and green. I got these on a Memorial Day sale that they were having and I combined it with a, you give them your email and they give you like 10% or 15, I can't even remember. But so basically that plus a 20% off for Memorial Day and I ended up getting these for like 80 bucks uh, when they were still full price. And so I'm, I'm really happy with that. These are, I do all my long runs in these for the most part, and uh, I'm really happy with them. The, I've got like a, a sale sticker on, on the bottom here right now. Uh, there it goes. Uh, but the, the outsole on these is like super tough. I mean, they're worn, but these have probably 380 miles in them, and they still look pretty good. I mean, like they're smooth like right at the pads on uh, my feet. This, uh, my left foot not as bad, but my left foot gets a little bit in this back corner here, whereas my right foot doesn't really get that. It gets a little bit, but not as much. Um, but overall, super happy with these, and they still feel pretty damn good, and um, highly recommend. I know that the 21s, which are the current ones, aren't too different from these. But you can get these for a good sale now. They're like $77, I think I saw. Um, I might pick up another pair um, just as these ones die out. And I'm, yeah, I highly recommend, these are great. And um, I don't know, Sakai's dope. The third pair of shoes that have been in my uh, main training rotation is a Sakai Endorphin Pro 2. And this is the same story as the Nova Blast 2s in that these were not the current model. I got them for like 70 something dollars. I actually got these, I was looking at them on Runner's Warehouse and I ended up buying, and they were like $100, and I ended up getting them for 70 something off Amazon. And, but it was through a third party, some like TJ Maxx type shoe warehouse kind of thing. And um, I'm like, I love these things. I've done all of my workouts in them. They are really poppy. I ran in them today. And like, when I hit like the sixes, uh, they feel like they're like vaulting me forward. Um, they, they do need, you do need to like go fast for them to kind of uh, tick over. But even before that, they do, they feel great and they're bouncy and, um, yeah, I really like them. I ran my half marathon in May in these, and they did great, and they still feel good. They've got like, I don't know, 160, 170 miles in them, and yeah, they still feel really good, and they, the, like I said, these Saucony outsoles, like these look brand new, I mean, other than the dirt, but uh, in terms of wear, it's like non-existent. They're awesome. So that leads, so the shoes that I'm going to run the New York City Marathon in. I picked these up, um, well, I, the reason I was interested in them is because New Balance traditionally has like a wider foot base in general. 
and I have, I don't have a wide foot, but I have like the widest foot you could consider uh, a, a normal, or not normal, normal is not a good word, um, in the average range. <laughs> um, so I wanted something like a slightly wider. And so these were the trick. I really like them. I ran my most recent half marathon in these as like a little test with uh, the half tights I'm gonna wear. Uh, not the singlet I'm gonna wear because, uh, but it doesn't matter, but a good one that I like. Um, and I was really happy. I was obviously I was stoked with that result. And I was stoked with how these turned out. They got a little dirty, which I'm sad, but I can, I'll scrub them down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to run the marathon in these. I think they're gonna do great. They only have like 20 miles in them total. I did like one uh, little run before, before the half marathon to uh, kind of figure them out. And yeah, I got these. Um, where did I get these? From Running Warehouse. And they were like 130 bucks. And I don't know, it's, I guess it's the color because like there were other colors that were still $250, but it's a pretty steep discount and I was into it. And uh, so the price was right. And yeah, they great shoes so far. So moral of the story is I'm cheap and I buy everything on sale, but you can do that and buy some really great shoes. So hopefully that, you know, help somebody out to just maybe have that thought put in their brain and, you know, get on running, running warehouse. I like that. I, I tend to go then first just because they're, they're, it's easy to search their clearance shoes. Um, but I've seen other ones on like marathon sports. I have, but I've never ordered anything from them. Oh no, I did. I ordered a pair. The, the good deal on the Triumph twenties, I got my wife a pair for like 70 something bucks from Marathon Sports. So Marathon Sports is good too. Um, and you know, I'm sure all the other places have good discounts too, but those are just the sites I've had success with in terms of searching. So that's it for this week. Finally got it done. I'm not gonna delete this footage, I think, maybe. There's no telling. But uh, next week, uh, it's just gonna be, this is gonna be our last like full video. And then I'll do like a quick three dayer. And then it's going to be the marathon. Weird. All right. See you next week.